Do you want to learn how to completely eradicate and kill all aphids in your house plant garden once and for all and do it naturally? Well, listen up because this is the video for you and I mean it. So I struggled with aphids and spider mites in my indoor house plants for several years and I could never figure out quite how to completely eradicate them. And I kept searching and searching and eventually I stumbled upon a really cool video that was made in 2012. It's probably why a lot of people don't see it anymore, but I will post a link to that down in the description below so you guys can go check it out. And that's where I learned how to completely kill all of these aphids and spider mites throughout my house plants. It's a natural solution, so you don't have to worry about chemicals and pesticides and you know, miticides and things like that. And it doesn't require neem oil either. In fact, you probably already have everything you need right in your own kitchen. And the solution I'm talking about is just dish soap. It's that simple. Dish soap, anything that you have on your kitchen counter. I don't use antibacterial dish soap because there's bacteria throughout everything in nature. And I don't like the thought of killing all the bacteria in the soil that the plants are growing in. But I do use just regular dish soap. And the brand doesn't really matter. I've used several different brands over the years. You just want to make sure it's a liquid dish soap. According to that original video I saw, it's a 1 to 2 percent solution. When boiled all down, it's 2 to 5 tablespoons in a gallon. Well, I use a half gallon sprayer bottle just like this. In fact, this is the one I use. And for a half gallon, it would end up being 1 to 2 and a half tablespoons of your liquid dish soap in the half gallon of water. So I fill it up to the half gallon point, dump the soap in, and that's it. I typically use about a tablespoon of dish soap. I used to measure it out. In fact, I have used two tablespoons and I've never had any problems with any of my plants. In fact, it completely eradicates any aphids on the plant or any spider mites on the plant within one treatment. And we'll talk about that in just a second, but it does the job immediately. This stuff kills on contact because they're soft bodied creatures. Aphids, russet mites, uh, spider mites, thrips, any of those little soft bodied animals or creatures on your plants, it'll kill them on contact. Within seconds to a minute, they're dead and they're not crawling around anymore. The issue comes into a week down the road, four, five, six days down the road, and we'll talk about that here in a sec. Now, like I was saying, when I mix a solution up, I fill it up to the half gallon mark here, all the way up, and then I dump the soap in afterwards. And the reason for that is you don't want to dump the soap in and then pour the water in because it's just going to start foaming up real bad and you're never going to get this thing full of water. By the time you do, the soap's going to be spilling over. So make sure to fill it with water first, then th dump the soap in. It doesn't have to be sudsy in there. You'll just take it afterwards and just rock it back and forth and kind of get that soap blended throughout the water. Once you've got that done, it's spray time. And I'm going to take you over here and show you on this little pothos that we got going, how I do this. All right, so the first thing I do is just pump this guy up until it's got some pressure in it. Makes it real easy to use a pump sprayer because you can just hold the handle down and spray all over this thing. Now, I don't have any bugs on this plant, but I'm gonna show you what I do. The first thing is I spray, let's show you here, into the soil, all around the surface of the soil, just like that. Now this bottle's almost empty here, so you're gonna hear that spraying, but I hit the soil so that anything on the surface of the soil gets killed immediately. And then I move to the underside of the plant. I just turn it over like this and start spraying off the undersides of the leaves here until I get all surfaces of the leaves. And it's just dish soap, so it's not gonna harm anything. And then we come over the top of these leaves here. I'm gonna hold this sideways so that you can see and so that, uh, I don't run out of soap here in this bottle. And I just hit all the tops there of the leaf surfaces. And then when the plant is fully saturated, it's completely done and you've done your job. That's all there is to it. So that's all I do and within a minute, those aphids are dead or the thrips or spider mites or whatever else you've got going on there. They're little soft bodied animals and it completely eradicates them, any of the live ones on the spot. It is a little bit tedious if you have a lot of house plants because you've got to take them all outside to do this or I suppose you could do it in a bathtub actually. Um, you got to spray all parts of the leaves but once you do that you see how simple it is. You know it just takes a little time but then it gets the job done. Now here's the part where people get a little bit mixed up and frustrated. Within four, five, six, seven days depending on the particular bug you're trying to get rid of and its life cycle 
this won't necessarily kill all the eggs. And so within that time frame, a lot of these bugs, their life cycle is like four days or seven days or two weeks. And so you'll kill all of the live little bugs crawling around on there, but some of their eggs will start hatching days later. And then you'll get more of them. And at that point, you need to do another treatment. Now, I've had aphid infestations and I've got done this with spider mites that were you know, pretty bad at times. And I've completely eradicated them within two treatments. So it doesn't take much, but if you got something real bad going on, you may want to hit them once this way, and then a week later hit them again. And then just kind of keep an eye on things. I'll look through the leaves occasionally and just make sure there's nothing back. Sometimes, I actually, in one instance, I had a situation where I sprayed a bunch of plants, killed everything off, and then about a week later, I looked through the plants and I only saw like two or three aphids, little tiny aphids, crawling around on a few different plants. I squashed them with my thumb and that was it. I continued watching the plants and never saw any more came back because I had gotten them down to low enough numbers that they couldn't find each other and breed and it eradicated them in just one treatment and then me just kind of combing through them a little bit. But that's all it is, just a, a liquid soap solution from in your kitchen. You probably have it on hand already. You just need a half gallon pump sprayer. You could even use a spray bottle if you wanted to, but a one to 2% solution is what you're going for or two to five tablespoons per gallon. Now I know some people talk about just rinsing the aphids off in sink water if that's your problem. I will say I've tried that a lot in the past and it works in the short term, but it doesn't get rid of the eggs and you always have a few stragglers left behind. It never eradicates the aphids. It never completely gets rid of them. They always come back stronger and stronger and stronger. So this is the only solution I've ever found that actually works, works 100%. Sometimes it takes two treatments, but it works 100% if applied diligently. And it's about as natural as you're going to get for a solution for these little bugs. Otherwise, you're going to have to turn to chemicals or, I mean, possibly neem oil. But this is the cheapest and about the most natural solution you're going to find. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this one. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along, and have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video. Adios! Adios.